piles of rubble, damaged barns, and downed power lines. This is some of the mess Stuart and Mary Snedegar has to deal with after yesterday's storm ripped through their Owingsville property. After it all settled down, we come out and looked, and we seen the barn roof off against the fence. There's some damage in the machinery shed. Stewart says this barn is vital to his farm, which is why the damage to it is his biggest concern. That's what I'm worried about more than anything, getting the barn back and getting the roof on it, because we use that barn a lot. Now, the Snittigers received a lot of damage in the storm, but here's the crazy part. A blade of grass is stuck in the fence. Now, Bath County Emergency Management says it would take winds around 85 miles per hour for something like this to happen. It's pulled the rafters out. At this point, emergency management doesn't believe a tornado is responsible, but they say the damage came from straight line winds mixed with a microburst. This combination didn't just affect the Snittigers, but it also took its toll on other properties along Wyoming Road. The next farm down took a building down, and then it just cleared up, and that was it. Although this family has a lot to clean up, both Stuart and Mary say they're just relieved no one was hurt. I That's know, the main thing. thing. Everybody's all right. Yeah. This is just stuff. <laughs> yeah. And it can be fixed. In Bath County, Mike Byer, WKYT.